Welcome back to the Groove Low channel. And no, this is not one of those cameras where you can add effects. This is a real mask and real glasses. I am being very overprotective from COVID and from blue light at the same time. Because I have all this blue on. But anyway, I'm going to do another unboxing today of a new piece of gear that I have that I'm so excited about. I avoided this thing for a very long time uh, until I kind of revisited and heard some clips on YouTube and thought about the types of companies that this product had acquired. And I'm pretty sure some of that stuff has been reverse engineered and added to the product. So we're gonna prove my theory today. It just arrived. It arrived pretty fast. I got it from American Music Supply. Um, and it came like within three or four days, I believe it was. Very good. Very fast. Uh, so let's do the unboxing. Let's do it. Woo. Okay. First of all, let's never mind my Black Star mini amp here. I needed to keep the lid closed because I got overly excited and open the box and uh, the flaps won't stay down. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. Let's move this. Bam. All right. So here we go. All right. Let's see. Uh, kind of packing paper here. And a box within a box. Okay, not a whole lot of packing, but hopefully that inner box will protect it enough for us to have a complete product in there without being banged up. What else is in the box? Let's see, we get a handy dandy, we get a handy dandy AMS sticker. Like, I'm going to find a wonderful place to put this, probably, yes, or not, I don't know. And then invoice. Um, don't know if we have the price on this invoice, but this thing was pretty hefty. Well, I say that because my uh, some of my other amps have come in a little cheaper than this one, but for the amount of power that this Fender uh, Rumble HD. 800 HD, I should say, comes in at. But when you think about it, for the price that this Fender Rumble 800 HD came in at, you would find an amp of this stature, power output, and configurations, the possible configurations on it would probably cost you. All right, so uh, I'm still excited, and we're going to open the rest of this box. Handy dandy cutter opener. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Um, okay, cardboard. And the handy dandy manual. It feels a little thick. Might be some things I can check out in here. If it is not so small, I need a magnifying glass and a spotlight. Or else I'll be going online to see if I can see some of this stuff. Okay, here we go. All right, and here is the pièce de la résistance. This is the amplifier. And wow, here we go. This thing comes in a gig bag. So that's been one of my issues with with uh, some of these smaller amps, uh, you know, they've always had to be small enough to go into my gig bag pocket. And I'm pretty sure this one will probably fit, but it's so cool to be able to carry it in a... I also found these three things in the bag. And um, usually you do get this IEC cable, and it's pretty thick, which I like. They, sometimes they send you the, the thinnest ones they can find and it's cheap to add, and um, we all know that if you 
the thicker these are, the better power we can supply the amp, the better the power amp inside is supplied and the sound is better. So anyway, um, um, this always comes. Not so amazed about that, just amazed about the size. What I'm amazed about is you almost never get an amp more. I've not ever had one that comes with a speak on cable already in here. That's awesome. And it's cut to the right length to go from the head to your speaker, unless you're stacking your your amp on something else. But why would you need to at 800 watts? You don't need a power amp or anything like that. Okay. And a foot switch. Now, Galleon Kruger was good at doing this, but um, I haven't had many other amps where we had you had foot switches that were already here and this is for that separate overdrive channel that you have um we'll see if we can work that in i don't know we'll see but it's great to have all right let's get to the amp here we go let's release the kraken let's unzip the top of this okay Stand it up. Here we go. Fender, nice job at really trying to protect this amp. I mean, you put plastic on everything, which I can appreciate that. Not to get it scratched up and that it will travel well. All right, so let's pull this out. See if I can do this with one hand. Maybe not. Okay, I just got it out of the case. Here we go. We have the plethora of knobs. First, let me say, okay, it's not the smallest. It's not smallest of the Class D amps um, I've ever seen. However, I do dig this kind of, uh, I'm gonna read the specs, but I believe this is a steel chassis. I do, do, I do like that for it being tough, And I'm not sure, maybe if the sound is really good, maybe it required all the things that are in it and why it is so wide. All right, here's the back panel. If I can, whew, maybe I'm going to have to do it like this. Let's see if I can bring it in closer so you can see it. I'm going to go back the other way. Just like a regular power section here where you can cut it on and off and use the IEC cable. Looks like you have combo jacks um, that you can use XLR and quarter inch both. Not a cool, really, really cool thing that I can see on here. If I can get my camera to kind of focus in, is that you could switch this thing to eight and four ohms. So you can put eight and four ohm load on it and then switch it to a two ohm load, which, man, most amps now, I mean, Maybe I'm an old fuddy-duddy and I haven't bought an amp in a while, but um, usually they don't go down to two, amp, two ohms. Uh, usually you get into the two ohm territory. That's when amps start to smoke and, and burn up. And then Fender or someone else gets a new order for amp. Anyway, these, you got the regular XLR out, the DI. And you have post and pre for... What looks like uh, where you could be able to send a, a post EQ or pre EQ signal. You also have the ground lift in there, uh, foot switch uh, for headphones. If you want to practice with headphones, auxiliary in for if you want to bring in some music. And it is a, looks like a um, an eighth jack. The phone, it's the phones is an eighth jack, which is, I'm so glad they did that because. Seemed like uh, amp manufacturers were not getting a hint. And they were making all these things quarter inch jacks. You had to have adapters. And that could be a nightmare on, all on its own. And the effects loop. Okay. Okay, knobs. I'm going to do a brief overview on this um, opening video. And come back and do something more detailed. Uh, when I actually give sound samples. But it looks like a game. And um, from what I'm hearing, 
the the money makers these three are the three right here in the middle where you can do a bright contour or a bright kind of uh, boost and you could do a contour which is kind of like a mid scoop and you can do vintage which is probably more of a low mid low mid range and a low end boost at a certain frequency and i found out what those are and but you can do those instantaneously without doing anything to the eq but right here in the next section looks like where you would use the foot switch where you could put a uh, a certain amount of pleasable drive or even unpleasable is unpleasable a word i don't know uh drive in but and actually give it the level that you want in the mix and uh that is controlled by that foot switch that brings that channel online okay back to this eq I'm sure it affects both clean and the uh, overdrive channels. And um, you have the regular old bass. Then we have low mid, high mid, and treble. Okay. We'll see how musical those really are. I've been hearing that they are. And then we have the master. That master is the one that gives you the, the power amp output. And uh, we have, of course, the indicator light that lets us know that it's actually operating. That's it, boys and girls. That is the unboxing of the Fender 800 or the Fender Rumble 800 HD. Um, this amp is nice. I don't know why I waited so long to do it. Um, and I've already actually played it. Uh, and it is great. I actually already love this thing. There are sound samples that are coming. I promise. Um, yes, I just want to go through everything to make sure I can uh, give a good review of the amp and the sound and the knobs and all that stuff. So um, it's really good. I, I, I really enjoy this thing, and I think it may be one of the last amps that I buy. Um, okay, thank you, Fender. Thank you for shipping it to me safe. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, everyone that is a subscriber and those that are not subscribers, um, following this is going to be some individual photos of the amp for your viewing pleasure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the lovely things for my channel. And uh, so thank you very much. Groove Low out.